Hey guys, VBad here with another V plays, and I've actually had this plane for a while. These two pitchforks sticking out of the front of the aircraft here. This is going to be the I-215 with two massive cannons sticking out the front, 57s to be precise. And oh, where's my game? There it is. We're having some technical difficulties. Come on. Whew. I'm going to have to change some settings real quick. Sorry about this, guys. We have windowed. Windows borderless. Let's see if this kills me. <laughs> All right. Back to battle. Back to battle. There we go. Let's just drop these bombs real quick. Bunk, bunk. Why are you even here when you're already dead? Alright, so this is a super gimmicky aircraft, and now that I've had time to mess with the aircraft without it being all screwed up with my video settings. We have dual 57s that, while it may seem initially that dual 57s would have really sluggish shell velocity, they actually have really high shell velocity and it's going to be very reminiscent of flying the I-211. So don't despair that if you are flying in the I-211 you think that you're going to get a less effective version of that aircraft. This is going to be plenty capable. We have a really long range on these guns, obviously. What do we got down here? Can I find an aircraft that is vulnerable? I want a vulnerable aircraft. There it is, vulnerable. See, the shell velocity is actually really good for these, and they're great for just doing these one-shot kills. So yeah, it is gimmicky, but it's gimmicky with some consistency, says as he misses his shots. I like to let the guns cool off a bit. feel like we're getting hosed here. I need some help. What do I got going on over here? I feel like I'm flying by myself. I am flying by myself. I'm the only one in this sector. What's up with that, bros? Only one in the sector! Yeah, we're toast. I don't know what my team's doing, but they're pretty much leaving to me to my own devices. Whew! Well, to be fair, we have two ground attackers on our team, and for them to be in the center would be stupid. So my initial, what is everybody doing, has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I am kind of wondering, what's he doing? Oh, he's he's kind of in defense mode. He's getting dog fought real bad right now. Yeah. And we've got a player, what is that, an F-84D? Let's see here. Cool. Easy. It's not helping us is that there's ground attack or these bombers up here, nobody's touched. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this. Oh well. We're about to get air supremacy, I believe. I don't know why I put the bombs on this aircraft. I also don't know why I don't have the maneuverability mod on here like I prefer to run. Bombs are coming back up, so that's good. Let's go ahead and drop these in the big site.
Ha! Gotcha. Gotcha. Send it. There it is. Whew. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere, right? What else do we got here? We're actually not doing bad. What the heck was that? Did you guys just see my little mini-map do that thing? I don't know what that was. What is going on with this game these days, man? So this is the perfect way to kill aircraft, is like... If I can make contact, like... How would this guy even know I was involved? Uh-oh. Something's on me. Ah, get him off of me! Thank you. Man, I'm so glad I can call bots in for help. You're really coming back? Okay. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I, I hit him? How am I hitting you? <laughs> the gimmicks is real, man. He's right though, we need to try and capture this zone, that's going to be our best bet. Uh, that aircraft needs to go. Okay, so there is a... Oh, shizzy! What the heck, man? Get out of here! Whew. We're still not doing bad. Give him a nice shot. Beautiful. I got no complaints. What I do have is 257s, though, and some interlopers in my zone. So let's go ahead and kill this specialist bomb, dude. Hey friend. Okay, see ya. Now we don't need to climb super high. For those of you who've watched my I-211 video, you just need to get high enough that your guns can range. Now, but we're still heading upwards, so obviously... <laughs> there's that. Uh, we managed to kill that dude taking out all those other airframes. What do we got down here? Another ground attacker. This works really well for going after ground attackers if you guys have not noticed that. That's one of the things I kind of like about it. I also like the idea that if I if I figure out how to shoot this these guns, which I am coming into this cold. I haven't flown this thing in probably a month. And yes, I've had it for a month. I just haven't gotten around to doing a video, so sorry. But yeah. We need to get this airfield, man. I don't even realize how bad we need to get this airfield. Shoot. Squirrel is mad. Come on. And we still lost. Oh, well. Oh, did we just get grade one? No, we got Hero of the Sky. How'd we get Hero of the Sky? We did pick it up. Nice, 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 nice. In this plane of all planes. I can't even believe that. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the hangar. <laughs> I'm dead serious, guys. I haven't flown this plane in forever. I'm glad I got grade one, but I really don't feel like I was contributing that much. There was so much more we could have done there.
But this plane, it, just like when Shizzy hit me, you get to see the receiving end, which is why I kind of like this video. Is because Shizzy, man, he knocked me out. I didn't even see him coming. Because you can kill people from that far away. It's an absolute devastating hit. So let's go ahead and see how we did here. We already know we got the uh, grade one. Whew, man. Managed to get Conqueror. How did we do? We captured five sectors? No wonder we did so well. I don't even know how we did it. I guess I know how we did it. We we dropped bombs, we shot things, and we captured sectors. So uh, those were dual FKers. Those are dudes from um, Postal's clan right there. So I know early on I was kind of like, where's my team? But uh, the honest truth is like we have three ground pounders on our team, a Su-10 uh, and two of the 1102 Bravos, and only one TA-183, and then a Herpaderp plane such as myself where I was actually anticipating not doing so well. But yeah, these guys ended up doing pretty good. Good job, Shizzy. I want to see what you did over here, man. 12 aerial targets, two sectors, yeah. And one of those aerial targets was obviously me in the multi-roll, but he killed five multi-rolls. Uh, and I think where you're going to see a distinguishing difference here is, what did I do? We took out two bombers and three ground attackers and three heavies, one of which, two of which were an XF-90. Man, that was pretty nasty, wasn't it? Overall, uh, a really solid platform. And like I mentioned, these guns, they have a much higher shell velocity than you would, would initially give them credit for. And with an optimum range out to 3772, but in the ability to hit targets at 4715, you can hit a target, usually causing massive crippling damage with 580 damage a second, which... I don't know if that's like you figure the rate of fire actually we can do this math right now because math in public is fun right if we go ahead and look at the rate of fire it's 60 rounds per minute 60 <laughs> seconds in a minute you're doing 580 damage for each shot right so man that is that's some nasty hit so every shot equals 280 damage or 580 damage. Man, that's, that's monster. Monster. Uh, the bombs, uh, I really debate if the bombs are worth having on this thing. Because the reload time is absolutely abysmal. You're looking at 180 seconds. But what are we losing? This is... I, I did not think I had these mounted on here. But if we go ahead and look, our current airspeed is 297 cruise, 587 boost. If we demount this... We go up to 612 and 311. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, but I don't know if that's necessarily the biggest hit in the world. Uh, I tend to lose my engine a lot, so I'm not sure if I need engine cooling, uh, but I would like to put on the pneumatic controls. We've kind of debated on whether or not that was uh, that was the right thing to do. I see a goulash. I'm going to talk to you in a second, Brosif. Uh, that was actually his suggestion, by the way, to go with the pneumatic steering. So thanks again for that. That's really been helping out. And Grizz and VMAX over at SOS Clan, uh, they also uh, reiterated that the pneumatic controls will actually overcompensate for losing a control surface if you lose a control surface so like it gives you an opportunity to kind of recover and you can also use it in the offensive role to be able to turn on a target that you know can out turn you so just word of the wise that there's some potential there but yeah guys that's the i215 and the master derp cannon so hopefully you enjoyed seeing how this aircraft flew despite the loss and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one I'm